But like down tilting and, and the far side of the harbor, right? You have uh, the devil's rocking chair and the devil's heart, and the, there's all these scary stories and legends. And you didn't hear yeah. the Michael Turpin story. No, I just know the trail because I walked on. Um, so in 1809, which was only 20 years before the last Beatty, um this guy from Tilting, Michael Turpin, was attacked by Beatics and his friend ran for Tilting and Michael Turpin ran for, uh, there was a schooner out in the water swam and he swam to the schooner and the other fellow ran and he was chased by Indians and they, he was shot in the back with an arrow and I think he may have got one in the foot and he lost his shoes and they were closing in on him and there was an older woman up uh, working in her garden and she saw the, uh, him being attacked uh, attacked by the Indians and she took her shovel and she put it up as if it was a rifle and uh, they thought it was, the Indians thought it was a rifle and they took off and so that guy survived and Michael Turpin swam to the ship and there was no one on the ship so the Beatics uh, went and got him and chopped his head off and took his head and left the body. So <laughs> it, yeah, wow. the following Very winter his, his head showed up in the Exploits River yeah. in the interior, you know, about 100, 150 miles away from here. Wow. And there's a, you know, a legend that the, the place where he died has a, a red stain on the rock, which it does, but you know. Whether it's iron or blood. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. So the rocks tell many stories all over Newfoundland. There's always these haunted rocks or ro rocks with these significant mm. things but with them. You know, I always say, you know, Scotch on the rocks. Too bad about <laughs> too bad about Michael Turpin. Nice trail though. Beautiful trail. <laughs>